Hello and welcome to another great video from me, Ditech, CTO at DVS, and thank you to our channel sponsor, Toshiba. If you haven't checked out their world-class leading enterprise hard drive solutions, then please make sure you do. Before we go any further, I'd like to wish you all a happy and healthy 2023. Yes, it is 2023, the first video of many. We thank you for everybody that likes, shares, subscribes to our channel, and we hope to bring you some even better content through the whole of 2023. We got some amazing ideas, so please stay tuned. So what are we gonna take out a look today? So, something a little bit different, mostly it's all about the CCTV stuff we provide, but today we're gonna do something on the new Optex, yep, Optex, the new world-class leading sensing solutions. So, who are and what are Optex sensors that we are talking about? So recently, we've started heavily promoting intruder alarms, as you've probably seen if you're a customer of DVS, and we plan to do more content around that. Optex have just released brand new PIR internal detectors for your grade two and grade three wired alarm systems. So we have a solution where we can use Pyronics as a wireless and wired alarm solution for grade two and grade three. And we also have AX Pro by Hike Vision, which is a grade two wireless only solution. There is a hybrid solution coming very, very soon to the UK, but for now we have the wireless and the wired options for all your intruder alarm needs. So grade three is the highest grade that most people would go for or really want to push especially for a monitor system so if you've got a monitored system uh, in a commercial industrial building most insurance nowadays will push you towards a grade 3 certified system a grade 3 is a certification and a standard uh, which the equipment has to meet and has to sort of uh, operate under that allows the whole system to operate as a grade 3 system. The system is only as strong as the weakest component. So if you've got a grade 3 system and you fit a grade 2 detector, technically speaking the whole system, there was lots of loopholes and grey areas around this, but technically speaking the whole system would be lowered to only a grade 2 standard. So today we've got two brand new grade 3 detectors. These are internal only and they are from Optex like I said. So here are the two detectors. We've got one a dual PIR and we've got one as a PIR and a dual tech. So depending on your circumstance, my preference is the dual tech. I love the PIR and the microwave technology combined, but there is a dual PIR also. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about these and then we're gonna uh, sort of show you one. I've got one here plugged in behind me, somewhere hiding. This is the dual tech sensor, which I'll show you uh, very shortly. So this is part of the uh, Flipex, it was a brand new range from Optex, the Flipex internal detector range. Now they do do uh, a standard uh, PIR range, which is grade two, but most of our customers are choosing grade three. Very little cost difference between the grade two and the grade three. Why not put the grade three in uh, by default, even if you don't need the grade three uh, standard as such, we're promoting the grade three wired technology. So two different detectors. So we've got the Flipex Advanced, which is the grade three, like I said, and we've got the um, uh, PIR, dual PIR, and then the uh, PIR with uh, microwave. Now, because they're grade three, they've got the anti-masking trouble output, etc. Uh, so they are absolutely spot on. So this is what the dual tech looks like, uh, bicolor LED. Now, depending on the LED, uh, I'll try and show you this a little bit better. If I bring my helpful. So you can see here, uh, bicolor LED. Now green is obviously alarm and you've got different uh, color LED it's inside the manual, but different color LED will refer to what is an alarm. So whether it's the PIR, the microwave trouble, anti-masking, uh, or green alarm in this instance. So a beautifully designed PIR. So as you can see on the back, uh, it's got all of the standard knockouts. It's got a little indentation, which you can actually fit a bracket. So if you don't want to fit this flat on the wall or into the corner of a room, which most people would obviously do, either flat fit in or corner of a room, and the knockouts you can see there, if I put it on this side, you can see the grooved sides where you can actually screw either side uh, or you can fit it flat to a wall um, with knockouts in there. You can get a wall bracket if you need the wall bracket. Let our salespeople know and we can bring that in specifically for you. 99% of cases, in our opinion, can make do without the wall bracket. But it's available should you need it. Now there's a cool little... You can see there's the lens there. There's a cool little screw hole. 
and the bottom there you can see a flat bladed screwdriver i've got an optex flat bladed screwdriver they don't come with the pirs uh, they kindly sent me a couple of these if you're lucky i'll get some more for you guys simply twist and it'll come out like this see nice and easy and then standard you can just put it in there and prise it open if i had nails it'd be so much easier so the way they've designed this is the back plate has the terminal screwdrivers here and again flat blade um it, i have got a posi drive a little posi drive you can simply put uh, the, they are labeled on the top i don't know if you can see there if i hold it close enough each terminal is labeled but you can simply screw it in tighten it up on the back or on the front of the pir you can see there's some pins here some metal pins they slot in to here this can be removed so you can take this out if you if you're fat sausage fingers like me you can actually take this back plane out screw your different uh, colors in secure it back in there and then this secures into the front there so when you separate this it makes it super easy if this does this shouldn't go faulty but if it needs to go faulty or you need to change it you can simply take the cover off and put a new one on so it's less fuss you can do it live so some of the older detectors that wire straight into the back you know there's a chance that you could touch the pods and neck together blow the fuse and then cause lots of different alarms and potentially even take the signaling out cause pa you haven't put it on test fire pa police all turn up at once and uh you know you can tell that's happened to me in the past you can see on the back of the plate there there's a screw hole here for grade three or for any good practice you should always put a screw through here so if somebody prizes this away from the wall this anti-tamper back plate here will remain on the wall the tamper plate on the back will then activate causing a tamper so you should always screw especially for grade three screw through he here on this breakaway back plate for tamper if you do take the lid off it's got tamper on there also and you can see on the i'll try and bring this a little bit closer and explain what these are so you can see the terminals they're all labeled there if i go back to this terminal here so you see you've got your pos and neg they're 12 volt dc uh pos and neg you've got your trouble common alarm tamper and led so you can trigger the led separately or turn the led on and off you've got your special trouble uh, common and alarm and tamper terminals now depending on what alarm panel these units um, don't come with any end of line resistors or double resistors in there they're simply a relay where you wire in your configuration so what you can do is you can either put the relays or oh, sorry the relays the resistors depending on your panel choice and the wrist resistor value that you need you can put them end of line or parallel series however your panel wires up you can put them in the terminals like a most people nowadays will use standard resistors into the terminals here so a very simple configuration which leaves it open to you guys and very adaptable to any alarm installation that you acquire again if you're using a smart home and you just want to trigger you don't need an end of line resistor or um, any resistance whatsoever you can just use it as a sensor and wire it in as a clean relay so it's up to you how it's configured the neat thing about this is I don't have a resistor on me right now, but there's a little neat trick on here. You can see here you've got your um, end of line resistors. So you've got your alarm, tamper, and trouble circuits here. Again, grade three troubles separated. You can actually wire, you can actually push your resistor values in here. So say it's, um, you know, 1K1, 2K, 4K7, many different resistor values depending on the manufacturer and panel type. You can push your resistors into these little terminals and they simply lay in these channels so using this you can wire wire in like between your trouble and your tamper terminal so you can just so still a one single pair of cables and then you can simply wire it in with your resistors there push them into place and then that will give you your resistor value so simply pushing any resistors will allow you to configure it for whatever panel you are configuring it to so it's nice and easy you only have to carry one of these on the van at any one time a lot of uh, pir and microwave dual tech detectors allow that functionality pretty industry standard but a nice feature to point out so the choice is up to yours put the resistors in here you can put them in the terminals here or sold separately depending on your panel type if you're only using one panel type and you want us to get in a set um, number of plug-in modules you can actually get optex make a plug-in module where you simply push that into there so it's like a molded little plug you push it into those terminals there which allow the set resistances depending on your panel choice so if you're always using pyronics 
or you're always using like Texacom or something and you want to use these detectors, you can get the pre-made resistance modules that plug straight in there, which gives it an even neater appearance. So the choice is completely up to you. Really neat design, which makes it super adaptable across the UK and Europe. A couple of other things you've got on the back, so pretty standard. QR code, if you want the manual, scan that QR code on your web phone on your phone and it'll bring up the web manual which tells you how to wire this in what all the dip switches mean the manual is super cool in the box it doesn't actually give you a manual it gives you a fitting instruction that's where you get the full manual by scanning that QR code so it saves paper much more eco-friendly and if you do need it it's always there and always the latest version now that's a super cool invention in a way to do this and thank you to Optex for thinking of such a cool thing a couple of other things you've got the down zone on or off so you've got a, a basically a creep zone which is there so if you fit this under a doorway and you want to detect someone coming underneath it before they get detected by this PIR or microwave or dual sensing you can turn the creep zone on or off by simply flicking that switch up and down really nice little function and feature and then you've got some of the other stuff on there so I'll just come around here so you've got the tamper switch here which makes on the back of the lid so it's a super simple way to make the tamper and again if you remove the back plate by prizing the detector away it will create that tamper you've got LED on and off switches so the dip switches on the left hand side here all represented by these here so you've got LED on and off PIR sensitivity low high medium then you've got the AM sensor so the uh, microwave sensing uh, anti-mask sensing sorry AM anti-masking because they are grade 3 they have anti-masking function so you've got the sensitivity is off low medium or high and then the PIR microwave LED is on or off so that one can turn the separate PIR microwave LED on or off then you have a microwave sensing uh, it's like a pot basically adjustable pot so by default I would leave it as it is you can simply adjust that around for medium low or high sensitivity pretty standard functions for most um, models in the UK but it's nice that these are all set out nice and easy clearly labeled um, and really simple to follow uh, they are Japanese design as well and again really super simple and that is basically it you can take this module out so again there's two finger clips here so if you pull these finger clips back this module will come out and you can see the clear lens where the uh, microwave and uh, led assemblies and you can see that fresnel lens where an interesting question yesterday i saw on one of the social media platforms was about the fresnel lens the idea for the fresnel lens you can see if i bring it up close you can see there's lots of different patterns in there that directs the emitted ir from the object directly into the sensor and then obviously alarm or not alarm depending on whether the microwave has detected it the sensitivity etc of that device this is the front of the device here so you can simply see the microwave and the PIR element, so the pyroelectric element, there's the LED, the microwave, and the pyroelectric sensing element here. So super simple, I'm not gonna to touch any of it because I don't wanna just sort of damage it or destroy it. But it's really nice, really easy to change if you need to, and a really nice modular format. So I'm gonna put this back into the casing. go and then super simply oh my bad I missed one of the lugs on the bottom there we go nice and securely fitted and all I need to do then is in hinge it in put the secure screw in there they take around one minute to initialize so once you've powered it up give it one minute to initialize and from there on in it will uh, detect as required by the detector so you can see on this one it's a 15 meter detection range 85 degree wide 24 meter on narrow setting uh, end line resistor double conductor shielding removable terminal uh, terminal block down zone so the creep zone it's all on the back there so it's quite nice i expect this to be quite popular nice easy configuration give it one minute and that's ready to go again if you do mask it um, you will get the anti-masking uh, function will trigger which will alarm the panel to say there's a zone that's been masked when you go to set the alarm it will tell you which one's masked and then you need to go and clear it walk in front of it for a couple of times which will then clear the anti-masking and again with the PIR so that's the dual text that's the PIR and microwave 
which most people are using nowadays. And then with the PIR, same size, same look. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, you wouldn't really know which model is which. Again, same easy remove function, twist, remove. And again, if I add fingers, and again, on nails, they've got the removal to turn or strip tamper cable entry here. So the same uh, double end of life, um, or double end of life, double end of line resistors, terminal block. You've got the same dip switches. You've got the creep zone here. And again, you don't have a microwave sensitivity on this one. But again, if I remove this, you can see same sort of configuration with the um, PIR, pyroelectric, LED. That's the space where the microwave um, element would be. But again, this is a double or dual PIR. And back in, same configuration, same look. And again, with this one, so you've got the DAM, so uh, dual tech anti-masking. And then you've got the PIR anti-masking. Super simple. And there we go. So that's the, uh, that is Optex's new range. I thought I'd just introduce it to you. I've been playing with it all over sort of the Christmas period. And again, nice and easy. They sort of designed this to be super easy, um, all aesthetically pleasing. That's quite a modern design compared to some of the other stuff still available on the market. Optex will only make stuff, you know, typical Japanese uh, design. They take a long time, but it'll be ultra reliable, ultra robust. They should be popular. And they're very cost effective compared to some of the other models out there. Currently, we don't do screen printing to put your branding on there, but it's something that I've asked if they'll do in the future. But again, you could easily put your company's logo on there with a sticker or get them screen printed yourself. They are that lovely material that screen printing will take really nicely to that. That's about it really. So hope you enjoyed the video. It was a nice little sort of insight into their new detection range. Any questions, please do let your salesperson know. These are in stock in uh, DVS. So we're only selling the advanced, like I said, at the beginning of the video, we're not gonna go into the uh, grade two only variants. I just didn't see any point in that. So these are in stock in DVS, ready to go now. Any questions, please do let us know. We hope to get some feedback from you guys very, very quickly on this. Uh, other than that, stay safe, happy 2023, and we look forward to more video content as the weeks go by. Take it easy, guys.